Hello. So my big RPG project is 3D, because 3D is really how things are going to be from now on. But I can't leave 2D behind, because uh, I'm old. So I took a look at Unity and how well it can handle those top-down 2D RPGs of yore. It can't. It's pretty shitty at it. There are a whole bunch of sprite wrangling libraries in the Unity Asset Store, so I bought them all and they're not very good. It's not necessarily that they're badly programmed, it's more that they've fallen behind. One of the big things I need to do is implement Unity events. Unity events are much better than what they do now. What they do now requires coders. You have to go in and program stuff. With a Unity event, you can just hook things up using drag and drop. So that's like a major feature. You want you want to use as much drag and drop as possible. Another thing they do is they do this thing where they have 10,000 tiles, one, one game object for every single tile. I think that's probably pretty wasteful. My experience with voxels has led me to believe that that is not a great idea and that they should be using a mesh instead. But uh, those are... I mean, I can get along with those. The big thing I can't handle is that I can't stand the fact that I have to go over into a new window, a separate window, and do my map in some specialized window. That That's not... That's not where my game is. My game is here in the scene view. You edit everything here in the scene view. I want to be able to edit things here in the scene view. So what I did is I made myself a scene view editor. So here on the ground floor, you can select it, and you can just enter into edit mode, and you can just start painting stuff. Uh, and there is a, a, a few small issues to be worked out in terms of losing focus here and there, but I'm just getting started. I've only had it working for a little while and you can see that you just paint it. I don't have uh, different sprite uh, setups yet or anything like that, just the basic concept of being able to paint these. Now you can even store this information into a scripted object, which means that if you hit play and you want to edit it while you're in play mode and wander around in the game world, you can edit the map in play mode and it will save permanently. So if you stop it, go out of play mode, you'll still have those edits you made. And uh, all in all, it's a pretty good idea. You can see that right now I am using the tile system where you have 10,000 different tiles. But, uh, you know, you can change that out. I can change that out. And the big deal here is that when you're not editing, it just becomes a, a kind of invisible layer that you don't have to worry about. And what you can do is you can duplicate it. And you can move the duplicate. And then you can say, oh, well, this is going to be um, not the ground floor. How about dirt? This is dirt. Dirt. And then you can say, okay, well, Let's take a look at the front here, and let's go ahead and just edit dirt. There we go. I've just edited a whole bunch of dirt. I'm painting through the upper floor. See? So you could have dirt, house, furniture, roof, second floor, whatever. Uh, and then, of course, because these are all in physical space, you can add in um, blocking elements, you can add in triggers, and all that stuff, and you'll be able to see it right here in the, th in the 3D game world. And then, of course, it compresses down into a 2D game world with your camera, because the camera sees uh, like this. So, this seems to be a pretty powerful way to do sprite editing. Um, I'm not really sure why people don't do it this way why they seem to be real keen on popping it up in a separate window. I mean, I can understand that this window here isn't the total solution, but the idea is that over here there would be like a, a sprite map where you could pick individual tiles, and there would be some functions like you could paint block, you know, uh, you know, unpassable blocks, and you could paint passable areas, uh, and you could even set it so that a given tile would default to passable or unpassable. That sort of stuff is pretty straightforward, so I'm not sure why this doesn't exist. I'm not sure why everyone's doing it this hard way. The problem is, although I can build this, it would be a lot of work. But it's so much better than what's out there. I think if this was available, I think it would make Unity on par with RPG Maker in terms of easy easy making, you know, easy creating of RPGs. The only thing you'd need is a compilation of assets, but even there Unity has the advantage because Unity has the asset packs and you can just dump them into your project and they're instantly usable. Oh, it's tempting, but man, that's a lot of work and uh, I don't have that much time on my hands. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it over Christmas.